Hi everyone, this is my uh, first statue review. The uh, Kratos on Throne statue by Gaming Heads. This is the regular version. First, the box. It's pretty big, about um, 3 feet tall and 2 feet wide. Great design for the box. You've got pictures of the prototype and the God of War logo on top of the box. And a PlayStation sticker. Um, the thing that bothers me is this description here. Um, it's the wrong one. It's written, this is the exclusive edition of Kratos on Aris Troll. In this version, Kratos is wearing Aris armor. So that would be the description for the exclusive version. Kratos is definitely not wearing Aris armor uh, in, in this regular version. I mean, just look at the picture on the right. A limited to 500 pieces worldwide. Product number uh, 990. So, as you see, there is a problem there. Um, in fact, the exclusive version is limited to 500 pieces, and the regular version is limited to 1250 pieces. So, that's a stupid mistake, but you know, it's just a box. So, as long as the statue looks great, I forgive them. So, let's take a look at the statue. The first thing that stands out is the size. Uh, this is 28 inches and a half tall and Kratos himself is 14 inches tall in his sitting position. Um, if he was standing he will be about um, 18 inches tall which makes it a one foot scale statue. Um, here is a size comparison with the Nightingale statue and the Breton statue by Gaming Heads which are 1 6 scale and about 16 inches tall. And here is a size comparison with me. So, it's huge. Now, on the technical aspect, Kratos is not sitting perfectly on the throne. And I found it not so easy to put him properly in place the first time. Um, I ended up scratching this part here with his elbow because I didn't know how to put him there correctly. Sculpt, uh, sculpt is very good. Um, the only two things that I dislike are his belt, which is not perfectly straight here, and the throne is a bit leaning to, to the left. Um, it's not so obvious, but if you are straight in front of the statue, you can see it. Paint is amazing. Uh, the throne looks good. There is a lot of details on Kratos' skin, his armor and his uh, tunic, the fabric on the throne. Everything looks good. So you can see here um, how sculpt and paint looks. Now let's talk about accuracy. Um, Gaming Heads stated that the statue is depicting the ultimate scene at the end of the original God of War. So here is the scene we are talking about. The mortal who had become the new God of War. Now let's compare this picture and the statue. As you can see, um, the thrones are pretty different. 
in the game it is a lot taller and it doesn't have these two things here. Um, also, uh, Kratos is touching directly the ground and you can see that the armor on his left leg is not exactly the same. These gems, not sure how to call this, are not there neither in the game. So I did a bit research and found this picture from the God of War wiki and it's a lot closer to the statue. Um, it has the little gems and these two things, but it's still a lot taller. In the other hand, I understand Gaming Head's choice of making the statue shorter. This statue is already oversized. Imagine if they kept the right proportions. It would be way too big and Kratos will look just even smaller compared to the throne. There will also be a big sort of empty space above Kratos. So I guess they did that to keep a good design and to have a statue not too oversized. Um, I guess design is also the reason why they added this piece of armor and the base. So it's not so accurate, but it's still acceptable since these inaccuracies are there to help the design and add detail to the statue. Here is my comparison with the prototype. I have to admit that the actual statue does not look as good as the prototype, but this is a $480 statue and I think what we got is really worth $480. You get what you pay for, but I'd really like gaming heads to stop using misleading pictures and prototypes that makes you think you will get something super incredible. I personally waited for the statue to be released and asked some people who had the statue to send me pictures to see how it looked in real um, and I saw it was not as good as the prototype but I thought well it's still worth the money so I bought it and I was not deceived but the guy who was expecting something super incredible that would look exactly like the prototype that guy could be deceived and that is why gaming heads has to be more reliable with their prototype um, they are going to lose people's confidence if they keep doing that. And it's also the reason why I finally decided to make a review for the statue, because I want you guys to know what you are buying. Will I buy it again? Yes. It's an amazing statue. It's not perfect, but it's, it's very well detailed, it's huge, and the price tag, it's not so bad. This is my first statue review. I hope it helped you. If you have any question, just leave a comment and I try to answer. I should make a couple of other reviews in the next weeks for the Britain statue by Gaming Heads, Gecko's Bloodborne Hunter, Three Zeros, Fallout T45 Power Armor figure, and Borderlands Moxie statue, and other statues I got on pre-order when I received them. So, see you soon!